Hello there, my name is Reda and welcome to Capital Mastery. In this video we're gonna be speaking about how to save money every month, okay? So let's get into it. Have you ever wondered why saving money is one of the hardest thing ever? I mean, if it would be so easy to save, like to spend, we would all be the happiest on earth, I think. But unfortunately, saving money is very hard. And the main reason for that is the lack, the lack of pressure that you feel towards saving. What I mean by that is that, let's take an example. If you don't, take, if you don't pay your mortgage, what will happen? The mortgage company will come and take over your house. So you feel the pressure to pay your mortgage. Same thing with your car loan. If you don't pay your car loan, what will happen? The finance company, the bad guys will come and take your lovely car, right? So you have the pressure to pay that, uh, that finance every month for your car. Same with your electricity bill. Same with everything else, okay? But if you don't pay yourself, if you don't save this month, what will happen? absolutely nothing that's what i mean so there is no pressure to save that's why it happens many times that you say in the beginning of the month okay this month i will save 500 let's say but then you see that nice laptop or that nice holiday or you think okay i'm tired i need to take a weekend off and you spend them say so, okay i will save next month because the pressure towards saving is minimum or non-existent at all this is why I consider that the best way to make sure that you will save every month is to pay yourself first. Pay yourself first. This is the most important thing you could do. Before even making your budget, you need to pay yourself first. Well, how you do that? Basically, once you get your salary, the first thing you do is save some money. And then you make your budget. In other words, it's like living below your means because the only way to save money is to live below your means. If you live at your means, you will never save, you will always be at zero. If you be, live over your means, then you will be in the negative all the time and borrowing money. But to live under your means, you need to save first. And everybody can save. I hear many times, well, I don't have a good wage or uh, I have a lot of expenses. That's true. Everybody is different. Somebody earns be uh, some people earn better, other less, or some people have children, other doesn't have children. But let's just take an example. Yeah, somebody who earns one thousand per month. Don't tell me that that person could not put twenty five pounds per month away towards saving. You will say oh, it's only twenty five. Well, just to know that saving and life in general is a marathon, not a sprint. 25 a month is 300 a year. It's 3,000 over 10 years. And if you invest them, it could be 5,000 or even more. So 25 is important. And don't and with that 25 saved, it will make no difference either you live with 1,000 or with 975. I don't think that 25 you'll even notice. It. It's less than one pound a day. I know so many people that five years ago were earning about half the money that they are earning today. And five years ago they were living a quite decent life, they, they had everything they needed. And today basically they are paid twice than they were paid five years ago. But you, they still have no money saved. Because the only thing that they've done is upgrade their lifestyle, upgrade their lifestyle. With each, with each uh, salary increase, they just upgraded their lifestyle. And the result in the end is that they have no money saved. And it's sad to see that. That is why I think that paying yourself first is the best way to avoid falling in this trap, just upgrading the, your lifestyle. It's not bad to upgrade your lifestyle, but don't forget to also live below your means. I think that is the most important thing to do. I really hope that this video will help you save better or maybe start saving because 2018 is on the doors and it's the best time to make uh, to, to, to give yourself new objective and why not a big one, save money as much as possible. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Next week we will start the first episode of study case number one where I will start an online business from scratch so don't forget to subscribe and have a great day